Good day, everybody. Let's talk about the challenges in business. There's a number of challenges in business. Some are more important than others, of course. Talk about some of the most important, and maybe a trade or two, strategy or two that you can do about it. First, talent. You can't have a high talent team with low talent individuals. You have to have the best talent in the marketplace today. How do you find that talent? You certainly have to pay for it. You certainly have to create an environment where people want to work in it. But what we have realized more than anything else is that the, those organizations that have become successful over the longer term are those organizations that have those few organizational people, those few employees who are just smarter, better, that have an idea that is exponentially more insightful than anybody else that works in the organization. That one organization that has the person that every other organization has is going to be the one that propels their industry forward. Find that type of employee, promote that type of employee, retain that type of employee, and you have a great chance as an organization to be at the top of nearly any industry that you create. Second is regulatory changes or compliance are issues related to the government. That may sound weird, but it isn't. From taxes to regulations, especially doing business in certain states in the United States, for instance, California or New York, it's a tremendous burden to start a business, to grow a business, to expand a business, and in some ways to have multiple businesses because of not only the environmental regulations, but the financial regulations, the tax consequences, and we could never we can never overstate the importance of being able to manage staff. And that staff includes many complexities in terms of employment law. So the second variable that can affect the overall success of an organization really is government compliance regulatory issues. Third, budgets. Budgets, costs, revenues, expenses. Anything to do with dollars, anything to do, do with dollars is going to have a tremendous impact on the future of the organization. If you can capitalize your business in a manner that ensures that you're going to be able to promote that business for a minimum of one year after it starts, then you have a good shot. In fact, they say that you need anywhere from two to three years of monies in order to not only start a business, but to be able to promote a business when it first starts out and there may be heavy competition against the business and you're spending considerable times and money trying to obtain customers. That brings us to the fourth one, creating competitive advantages. That goes very quickly with number one, so we stop at four, one and four. One is about talent, four is competitive advantage. You have to continually create, sustain, promote a competitive advantage that means that you're going to be at the forefront of just about any organization that you create. You have to create something that's different than anybody else that you're going to meet. And that competitive advantage has to be something that you create almost on a monthly basis. Not yearly basis, almost on a monthly basis. You have to continue to look at what your competitors are doing and you have to do something that's even better than they're doing. It's incredibly difficult to do, incredibly challenging. But the big organizations, the great organizations, the organizations that sustain over a period of time are the ones that can do that. So, you have to have talent. You certainly have to be able to understand government regulations and taxes. You certainly have to understand about the budgets and cost containment. And then you have to create a competitive advantage. Those are the four strategies and the four aspects of a business that you need to pay particular attention to in order to attempt to try have the best shot at being successful over the long term. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the day.